Hey folks, what's up? It's me, Vivs here from SlideNerd. Today, I will show you how to start an activity from your navigation drawer with the help of the on-click listener for the recycle review. Now, before we do that, I'd like to show you one website where I have redesigned my app, which was looking like shit so far. So, going to materialpalette.com in your Google Chrome, here you can pick two colors and it will automatically generate the themes that you need for your app. So, I'm going to take deep purple and orange which is basically the theme for slide nerd and if you can see all the colors are generated at the bottom the primary the dark primary the color secondary the accent color everything out here all you got to do is take these values go inside your colors.xml here just paste them out there and make some changes across now i have modified the styles.xml as well to support a dark action bar and in fact the whole dark background out there and of course i've seen the background color at the bottom with white color do whatever you need to do to make your apps look good so here if you take a look at the app currently this is how it looks like definitely far better than the yellow shit we had so far and if you take a look at the drawer again this is what we have so now if you click on the item what we want to do is launch the sub activity which is currently launched by clicking this icon at the top here and going back from there of course i need to change the icon color but let's see how we can handle the recycler click right now with different strategies let's discuss the three techniques to start an activity from our navigation drawer the first technique is to go inside our adapter if you remember very well we have our view holder class and there's a constructor for it inside the constructor we are given this item view here if you remember the top in the on create view holder method the item view is this view which we inflated from our XML by supplying r.layout.custom row. In other words, it represents this complete layout for this custom row that we have here. And we are going to set an on click listener on that inside our constructor for the view holder. So we can simply go here, we can say item view.set on click listener this here. Make sure that our view holder implements the on click listener and has the on click method. Now, to start an activity, we would need a reference to the context. You can go at the top in the constructor. For our adapter here where we have taken the context from the navigation drawer and we have stored it inside a variable here we can go down and we can simply say context.start activity we can make a new intent here and we can say context again for this and then we can say sub activity dot class which i believe is our new class here so at this point let's take a look at how this thing runs when we start it so there you go with our pre lollipop device you simply start here you click on any of the rows the sub activity is launched you click back here you're back to the main activity again if you go to the lollipop device again you start slide note here the sub activity is launched you go back and you're back to the main activity. you can click on any item and it's going to launch the sub activity out there but this is not a good way of doing things the reason is starting activities is a responsibility that should be there with an activity itself in other words your adapter doesn't have to do it your activity or your fragment should be in charge of doing such things so let's see how we can modify this code to support our solution number two now for technique number two we are not going to handle this process inside the adapter we are going to do it inside our drawer but first let me give credit to the person who actually came up with the solution for technique number two and it was not me if you go here to the comments of the 18th video of our recycler if you go down all the way there is our guy yusuf29 who actually proposed technique number two he has given the full code here for your reference about how you can do this and i even asked him for the details about it and this seems pretty good to me but i would definitely like to know what you think about this so go ahead and tell yusuf as well what do you feel about the solution that we have inside video number 18 of our material design playlist over here so let's go and implement that so first thing i need to do is make another interface here so i'm going to simply go here and make our interface called on click now this interface is going to have a single method called on click or something actually i will rename it something different otherwise we are going to get confused between which on click is actually running right so there's our method called item clicked now this has two arguments one is the view that was clicked and the position at which that particular view was clicked within our recycler view now how are we going to use this interface very simple we're going to go to the drawer fragment here and we are going to implement that interface here at the top so we're going to simply say click listener and as soon as you do that you have to override the method which is implement methods here click ok 
and there's our method from where we can actually start our activity now this is pretty simple all you have to do is write that intent statement here to start the other activity but how do we actually use this inside our adapter very simple we go to the top here we have a variable for click listener now we know very well that our navigation drawer fragment needs to implement this interface so we can directly set this with a method here we can make a method here called set listener we can say public void set click listener and this can take an argument that is click listener click listener over here and of course we can directly initialize it and that takes care of any setting things up so we can go to our drawer now and you know very well that we can call the adapters method that we just created we can go up somewhere inside on create or on create view where we have initialized the adapter here we have initialized the adapter we can simply go here and we can say adapter dot set click listener and we can pass this inside this simply indicates that the fragment is the object which implements the click listener so here if you go to the views adapter class here when the set click listener is called here you get a reference to the fragment which is actually being stored inside this variable so here at the bottom we we can directly call that method inside our on click method over here now we need to check if we actually called that method and it's possible that you did not call that method at all in that case the variable will be null here so we first do a null check simply say click listener not equals to null then we trigger the appropriate call by saying click listener dot item clicked and now we can pass the view which is v in our case and the position can be simply retrieved by calling get position over here so if you go back to the drawer fragment now we can copy the code for starting the activity here inside this method at the bottom which is item clicked so here i can simply say start activity new intent I can say get activity for the context here and sub activity dot class over here that would work the same way so now let's take a look at what I exactly did here first inside our adapter I made an interface now I went to the drawer I implemented that interface at the top which means I have to override that method here at the bottom now at the same time in the adapter I made a variable that is the interface that we just created now I also made a method here called set click listener that lets you set an object that implements that interface in our case it's our fragment that actually implements that interface at the top and hence we can simply call it by saying adapter dot set click listener and pass a reference of ourselves into that method which is going to be assigned here at the bottom to our set click listener inside this now we can directly trigger it in the on click method but we first check if it is not equals to null because if the user doesn't call adapter dot set click listener here if this statement is not called anywhere then that variable click listener is going to be null and we don't, we don't want a null pointer exception in our code anywhere so we check it and simply trigger the method at the appropriate time now get position will give you the latest position of the item that is being selected by the user currently when you hit the on click out here and of course we have to follow the technique of the first technique that we discussed so far and this completes our full second technique so let's run this and find out what happens so at this point things are running if you start the main activity click on webs there you go that's our activity getting launched out here again you can try it with any item you launch the sub activity and you're back to the main activity now this technique is pretty much like an extension of the first technique that we discussed as you saw in the code but i prefer this technique over the first one because here we get to start the other activity from within our fragment or we can actually take it all the way to our activity as well we don't write code for doing this inside the adapter making our adapter very flexible in other words we can use the same adapter with some other class that uses a similar recycler view as well and we don't have to modify anything maybe except changing the arguments for this item clicked method that we have in the interface so this covers our technique number two which is as per yusuf and i owe him for that and if you do think this is a good method do let me know in the comments now let's take a look at the third technique as well now this has already ended up being a pretty long video and hence i'm not going to discuss technique three in this video currently because technique three is twice as big as the first two techniques that we discussed so far now since we have access to the position inside the item click method you can start the appropriate activity from here using a switch case statement but to actually make a single navigation drawer across all the activities in your app 
you'll have to do some better object oriented coding than that. In other words, you'll have to make an abstract class, and you'll have to override a set content view or some strategy like that to ensure that you have a same navigation drawer which is being attached to a single abstract activity and all your other activities are extending from that abstract activity. Once I finish discussing technique 3, I will discuss this somewhere down the line since I have other things like animations as well to cover which people have been asking so far. So if you like what you saw, please like this video, share this video, subscribe to SlideNerd and let me know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.